So these are the letterbox one-liners for The Wizard of Oz. Let's roll them. The lesson I've learned from this is that manslaughter is awesome and will make people like you. <laughs> yep. And steal trophies, just like the British. Yeah, but also, if you do manslaughter, right, and then fucking people are like, oh, the, they could probably kill another person. <laughs> and then they're, Stun, and then they, stun then they, silence they, to that one only. But they, yeah. Well, no, then they, they set you on, like, the terrorist that's been terrorizing them. They're like, ah, oh, you can do this. Oh, Don't okay, worry. All right, let's see what you're doing. Okay. It's a setup. It's a con job, people. <laughs> when this came out in 1875 or whatever, it must have blown <laughs> people's fucking minds. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> Although I do think you can understand that scene when it goes from black and white to color, that there is like even even though it's not that cool for you, you can understand that it blew people's minds. It still looks pretty rad, frankly. Yeah. yeah. Like, First like of it, all, what is the strange moving picture? Second of all, why is it in color? <laughs> <laughs> Thirdly, I think I just soiled myself because of those flying monkeys. <laughs> Someone get the loose. Dude, I was so fucking afraid of the flying monkeys as a kid. Flying monkeys are straight so. terrifying, man. It's very upsetting. The gossip around MGM was that the lion was a confirmed bachelor. <laughs> he was just, he was just uh, born to be a sissy, you know? Exactly. The Tin Man got sick moves. Go, Tin Man, go! <laughs> Go Tin Man, go Tin Man, go. Go Tin Man, go Tin Man, go. There you go. It, uh, I feel like it did age well that they they shortened like Tin Woodsman down to Tin Man. Yes, yeah. yeah. Tin Woodsman. Yeah. yeah. Got changed the times, man. Hello, I'm the Tin Woodsman. Wait, you, you, got, you, you, you got any wood in here? I'll chop it down. I See? love Tin Woodsman's latest role in that Kenneth Branagh piece. It's awesome. <laughs> Great character actor. I've literally never seen this before. Here's what I learned. Trust every freak. Kill every old woman. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they should have killed Glinda, too. Honestly, yes. that's who they should have killed to begin with. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's the... Uh, yeah. The Cowardly Lion looks better than the CGI cats. <laughs> no yeah. shit. Cats happened, and then God was like, let there be a worldwide plague. Exactly. Yeah. Seriously. I don't believe in divine intervention, but I would be justified in that case. Be five years old, that movie. Fuck. For 23 years, I've been dying to tell you what I thought of you. And now, well, being a Christian woman, I can't say it. There you go. Oh, that's the best review. That's the best one. This is the, this, that's the first instance in this movie of uh, somebody being supremely unhelpful to Dorothy. Like, oh, yeah. then for the rest of the movie, it happens over and over and over again. Let's not forget that the scarecrow came strapped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, people forget they had a, that they, he was given a gun. I'm like, he yeah. He does have a gun. It is easy. <laughs> that was something I forgot about. I was like, where did he get that gun from? And again, I'm that comes back to the, the wizard gave him the. Well, and, and that's, but... that's what came to me thinking about like the munchkins with the guns, too. I'm like, well, do they know what guns are? Do they have ammunition? Like, there's a whole, like, you know, again, a, a better call Saul style prequel story for, for that, I suppose. But. We're off to shoot the wizard. <laughs> I'm going to blame the wizard. He probably brought all those guns with him. He probably was. Yeah. He's from America. He had to. <laughs> <laughs> he's the one that introduced him to guns. He's like, he probably he's like, did. Look, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have anything, uh, uh, anything revolutionary to tell you, but I, I can uh, sell you arms. They're like. Oh, right. <laughs> it's like yeah, the Tony yeah. Stark without, without the Iron Man. I can't give you back up. <laughs> You 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 mean you mean like an extra pair of arms? No, that's not no. what I mean. <laughs> if some random bitch in a bubble made me walk for hours on end, only to tell me that all I need to do was click my heels three times and I'd be home, I would beat her up. Yeah, she's, she's not even a little bit upset. Seriously, like, Again, I would the say, patience I would... of a saint. <laughs> Well, no, I would passive aggressively point it out. I'd be like, "Oh, so like I could have done this whenever, huh?" Yeah, I, I, I did you have to murder somebody. She she hits the point where you know, like, and I've hit this point before. At the end of the night, you just want to go home and like, however you know, however that's gonna yeah. happen. It's like, mm. like I I just want to go. So like they're like, "Oh, you can click your feel like your heels together three times and say, you know, there's no place like home." You're, not, you're like your brain is just exhausted to the point where you're like. Okay, it's like after hours or something, yeah. right? Like an after <laughs> yeah. hours, it's like I just, I just want to go home, man. 
Just, just, <laughs> cool man, cool man. Far <laughs> out. The, the surrender pork is very different at after hours. Yeah. yeah that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so those are Letterbox One liners for the Wizard of Oz. Please follow the show on our HQ account at Movie Night Extra. We are in 2024 posting up all the stories of all of the wonderful movies that we cover on this show. Uh, yeah, it was crazy us. looking at the the feed, and then the mm -hmm. first thing I saw was like the inner side thing. I was like, "That's us." Bump page, baby. That's right. So uh, if you don't already, please follow the show on that platform. Also, you can follow.